celebrating our women's conference um, okay. uh, next weekend, okay. uh, uh, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and uh, our headline speaker would be uh, Dr. D uh, uh, Doris Lindbergh, oh, okay. uh, associate pastor of the Acts Full Gospel. She okay. would be there on the 23rd to close us out. Okay. Um, you know, information is right there at the church if you want to come. The phone number is right. there. You can All call right. uh, for that. I will celebrate uh, 20 years as pastor mm -hmm. uh, the month of July. Okay. So your anniversary for the, for the church anniversary is in July. Pastor and wife anniversary is in July. Praise God. I will Praise celebrate God. 53 years uh, as church anniversary in September. Yeah. Ministry is you. Well, I love the Lord, mm -hmm. Brother Lawrence. Yes, uh, sir. Ministry is, the Bible says, seek the kingdom of God first. Yes. And all his yes. righteousness and everything, everything else will, will be, be added. I've been blessed um, to visit um, uh, or at least go overseas yes, yes. 35 times where I've been able to place the gospel yes. in four different continents. All right. Now, you and my pastor was talking about one day in the office about Africa. He kept yeah. on mentioning Africa. Yeah. How was that, that, that visit in Africa? My parents went to Africa, too. Yeah. But I just wanted to know your experience about uh, Africa. South Africa... Uh, which where I went to a city of Johannesburg, uh -huh. and I visit some other little towns, Pretoria, Soweto, uh -huh. Chambisa, and all of that. Uh -huh. right. um, we went over uh, another pastor friend of ours. I was invited, yes, uh -huh. and we went out over there, and we conduct a pastor's workshop okay. during the day, and then we did a revival where him and I switched up uh -huh. as evangelists each night. Okay. And we was over there, we preached in dirt yeah. floors, yeah. we preached yeah. in tents, we preached yeah. in cathedrals, we preached in brick buildings, we preached on the corner, we <laughs> preached in restaurants. Um, it, it was a beautiful experience. Wow. Um, if a black man mm -hmm. or Afro-American person mm -hmm. ever travels to Africa, mm -hmm. his life would never be the same. That's what my parents said. Never be the same. It, they it said the people was walking for miles to get to the church. It's a very humbling, there, it very, very humbling experience. Mm -hmm. um, the people in Africa have a unique mm -hmm. uh, style of worship. Uh, they have mm -hmm. uh, a very strong uh, respect for God yes. and yes. his message. Um, yes. You know, yes. it, 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 it's deeper than I can even uh, uh, express right now. Right, uh, right. It's something you would have right. to see right. for yourself. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, you are really felt uh, wonderful mm -hmm. and you're very much received yes. Um, yes. in the country of Africa, just not as a Christian, but as American citizen. Right. You're, right. you're highly uh, respected yes. as being yes. American. Mm -hmm. And so that was some of my um, experience there, just being, I felt like really I was an ambassador right. to come right. there to bring wow. uh, encourage God. and aid and assistance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome! And you may—I know you made a lot of good contacts there. Yeah, we that we you still deal with. We there. we communicate right now through the internet, and uh, we're looking mm -hmm. to go back. We're okay. we're trying to build a, um, a coalition that will go with me this time. Okay. Uh, we want to go over there and take supplies and literature, yeah. and uh, quite naturally the word of God. So mm -hmm. we are working on that and praying about that, and mm -hmm. that that God will put that plan together for us and. Uh, we're probably going to go now with the, maybe about a few, you know, maybe maybe, uh, maybe a dozen people that can okay. go with us this yeah. time. Um, to We're looking to do something real big in Africa. Amen, amen. Now, another thing I want to turn the page again mm -hmm. is the TV ministry. This, you're not a rookie at this. <laughs> You've been in there for a while. Yes. We recorded at some of this, at the same station in, in, in the, on the other side. You know, television. So how was that for you? It, it, television, some of the people you interviewed. Television has been quite a blessing. It has been a friend. Mm -hmm. I want to thank uh, Bishop McClinton mm -hmm. because he, he's been in TV a lot longer than I have. Mm -hmm. But I really want to give a shout to the late Chuck Johnson. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, who was the yes, owner and founder yes. of Soul Beat. Mm -hmm. And he is the one that really gave me a chance 
uh, moment of truth that I have that still airs, uh -huh. that still airs presently, mm -hmm. uh, it was birthed on the radio, okay? okay. And I took it wow. from radio and put it on TV wow. through the eyes and, and, and the brains of Chuck Johnson. Okay. And uh, I re I'm very much indebted to Mr. Chuck Johnson because mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson, um, with that television camera, mm -hmm. uh, allowed me and Bishop yeah. to really uh, get the message of right. hope, get the word of God out. Right. And I'm very right. indebted right. to that. And the the rest is history. We just uh, just dealt just with television. We just yeah, we just been dealing with television too long. Thank God for the El Cerrito station that yeah. uh, that's no longer now, but Michael mm -hmm. Galbert and mm -hmm. and Cheryl and right. all those that was had a, a very uh, strong impact. Oh, of, of right. helping our ministry stay on air. Oh, okay. Now, I told the guests earlier to get a pen and a pencil out. Mm -hmm. If you had an um, a email or a phone number you want to give out to the people, mm -hmm. you can do that at this time. They're going to write it down. They already got the pen ready. All right. <laughs> well, my or number, line. <laughs> my, my number is all one number, mm -hmm. and that's 510-562-2344. And if you want to email me, uh, you can email it to RevCap, R-E-V-C-A-P, 2003, mm -hmm. at yahoo.com. All right. Now, now, when you was coming, wasn't no email, wasn't that, wasn't that going on? A lot of that wasn't. It wasn't nothing but some pencil and paper when yeah. I was coming on. <laughs> we and didn't have a computer. You, envelope, you, better, huh? you better knew how to peck on a, on, yeah. on a manual uh, typewriter. Yeah, when I was that's coming. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, so during the time that, that you didn't come up and to the time now, what do you see as far as the uh, improvements I or the advantages that we have now? I see advanced there? technology, and I welcome it. I, I mm -hmm. wish that all the children and youth would just get involved. Mm -hmm. And the computer is very, uh, 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 I guess, present right now, yeah. and you're going to need to know. Uh, you're going to have to become computer yeah. literate. I right. encourage everybody to get a trade, uh, mm -hmm. get some type of education, yeah. finish high school, uh, go on to college, don't, mm -hmm. settle, uh, don't uh, settle for straight A's right. because that right. only means that the teacher is satisfied, but nice you, you can yeah. go on. I've yeah. been blessed to have five children and, mm -hmm. and six grandchildren, wow. two that was, uh, made it through college. Wow. I have a son uh, that was able to go to a university and now he's playing uh, semi-pro football, okay. and uh, we hope uh, one day that we can be able to see him play in the NFL. You know? Oh, okay. So okay. Uh, education is, is so important, mm -hmm. and back east, it's, it's heavily pushed, you know, in the east, eastern states. But yeah. here